got Larry Hoover, the founder of the GDs. Just Larry Hoover testifies in court seeking early release from life sentence, okay? He wants an early release. So now we have Larry Hoover. If you don't know who Larry Hoover is, Larry Hoover was the founder of the Gangster Disciples, okay? And the Gangster Disciples, uh, as you got, if you're from Chicago, you already know the GDs. You know, they didn't let the GDs in the door. You know, I mean, we know the deal. All right. And what we got going on right now is, is Larry Hoover was sentenced to life for finding out the gang, gang, for finding the gang that's responsible for probably 80, no, nah, probably 70% of the murders in Chicago. He's in downtown Chicago federal court right now trying to get a hearing. And we're going to see what's going on because, once again, this is why I'm cool with being a square, but I'm not no lame square. See, there's, there's another subsection that needs to be divided between squares and lame squares. So you have squares who obey the law but can get with it when shit needs to be done. But then you got just lame squares who just don't know what's going on in the world at all. But that's a whole other subject. I'm not trying to revitalize that argument of educated land, but I'm a, I'm a square. I'm a regular square, but I will. You threaten my life. All right. Yeah, I would. Yes. If you threaten my life, if of a self-defense, you know, but I'm not looking for trouble. But that's a side note. Larry Hoover. Uh, the gang GDs, which is really growth and development, is really supposed to be growth and development. And it was really trying to, uh, you know, implement. Maybe they was implementing positive change, but that's not what it stands for now. Because, you know, if you go anywhere and you see that little fork, <laughs> let me tell you right now, you know, you're not safe. If you go into a Chicago establishment and you see a three pronged fork, all right, GDN to the world blow, <laughs> seven four. Go ahead and get the fuck out of there. Just go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Tony Snow says he didn't deserve all that time. Larry Hoover never been charged. We're pulling the trigger. Look, bro. Look. I hear what you're saying, Tony Snow. And I'm just looking at this from a purely legal sp uh, perspective. But all the murders that have been done and within the offshoot of GDs, I don't know. But let's see what's going on, man. So we got Larry Hoover back in court, man. He, Him along with Jeff Fort. They founded all the gangs that is responsible for all the killing and murder in Chicago today. Uh, G, uh, uh, Larry Hoover founded the GDs, Gangster Disciples. Uh, Jeff Fort, he founded the El Rukin Nation, um, which, you know, he got 168 years uh, for Jeff Ford, he founded the Black Peace Stone. He's also in Florence Nation. These niggas never getting out. Let's see what's going on, man. But now he has another chance to get out. We're talking about a gangster legend in the building. Let's see what's going on, man. Larry Hoover, through his lawyer, seeking early release from multiple life sentences, a special program passed by Congress known as the First Step Act, in some cases allowing early release. This thing is trying to get out through the first step act. So if Trump gets Larry Hoover out, because the first step back is because of Trump now. All right. So we got a situation where Trump might be getting the, one of the most biggest gangsters in the world. Because make no mistake about it. Larry Hoover is a mobster. He is a gangster. He's one of the most famous gangsters ever in American history. All right. Next to Al Capone. All right. This nigga is on Al Capone's level. I don't even know. Just because he's black. That's not negated. He's still living. Uh, so he's in court right now, downtown Chicago. He was just in court on Friday. I'm surprised Power 92 ain't covered this, 107.5. But once again, he sh it's not like he should be glorified. He, this is a, I guess, you know, <laughs> law-breaking citizen, whatever. Peace for certain rehabilitated prisoners. 
wearing a tan long sleeve shirt, glasses, and a gray beard, a shackle Larry Hoover in Florence, Colorado, appearing on the monitors in a Dirksen Federal Courtroom here in Chicago. Damn, that nigga on the monitors in the Dirksen Federal Courtroom, which is 219. We're going to look this shit up. Who was actually... See, we're going to look this shit up. We're going to look this shit We're going to see who presiding over this case. Because, uh... So Larry Hoover has been in prison. He's 70s. He's been in prison since 99. 90. I mean, I think 97. Either 97 or 99. This nigga in jail trying to get it. He would have been better off trying to get fucking compassionate release. And compassionate release is when um that's when you see you're so fucking sick. They're like, all right, get this nigga out of here, man. He's so fucking sick. He ain't gonna do shit. You know, uh, but damn nigga in Let's see what's going on. Chicago, the 73-year-old founder of the notorious gangster disciple street gang testifying from the ADX Supermax prison in Colorado. I'm a completely different person than the man who went to prison in 1990. Now, keep in mind, ADX in Colorado is maximum security. Okay? Maximum security. You know? And so, um, this is not like... You're 23 and 1. Okay? 23 and 1. Let's see what's going on. 97, Hoover said in a low voice, I'm very reflective here at ADX. You're locked up at least 21 hours a day. I have no desire to run the GDs or to be involved in any criminal. Mm. I have no desire. And this is what that shit do to you. This shit, nigga, this nigga said, I have no desire. What did he say? Hold on, let's see this again. We're talking about the GDs, the legendary, you know, we're talking about, this nigga said, fuck you niggas. Okay? This is why that shit ends nowhere. After all that clout, after all that, this nigga said, yo, I have no desire for anything to do with you niggas. All activity, I'm past that part of my life. But the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Illinois vehemently opposing the early release of Hoover, arguing that he still asserts leadership when it comes to the gangster disciples. Now look how grimy these prosecutors are. They say, yo, this nigga's 77 years old, but they still exert leadership. They still... The prosecutors, even though this nigga old as fuck, can't get nothing done, they're still saying, hey, man, this nigga still has some sort of influence over these young niggas, which is crazy because these young niggas would kill Larry Hoover, all right? These young niggas will kill a fucker. They don't give a fuck about no goddamn Larry Hoover. They would kill a fucking Larry Hoover.